Yo, what's good guys? Today I made over $400 training this ICT Silver Bullet strategy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use it for your training strategy plus two more bonus strategies with live examples so make sure you watch the end to learn everything. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's go over how we can trade the ICT Silver Bullet. So we want to see price come up into a high time frame for your value gap and take out a draw on liquidity. You then want to see price come down and create a low. You then want to see price come up and internally sweep this high. Then after that, we expect price to displace slash break structure past the most recent low. We then want price to retrace into a fair value gap that we created and into something called a breaker block which is basically an order block created from the low that it broke past. So from when price taps into here, we would look to sell to a drawn liquidity, fair value gap, whatever you want to target. Now let's get into some real chart examples. So this is Euro JPY on the 6th of February. So we can clearly see that we have a level of buy side liquidity right here. And if we scale out onto the four hour, we can clearly see we have a four hour fair value gap right here. And clearly see that we internally swept this high right here. We displaced past this low giving us our breaker structure slash market structure shift. We can then see we create a nice five minute fair value gap right here, as well as a nice breaker block right here. So you would look for an entry right here, put your stop loss at this high. And me personally targeted this big daily fair value gap. And as you can clearly see, we hit it right away with minimal to no drawdown. So yeah, really quick overview, fair value gap, buy side liquidity sweep right here. We come up, create a low, take out the high, internally sweep, tap, fill the four hour fair value gap, take out the level of buy side liquidity, Just place past the most recent low, create an order block here, creating a five minute fair value gap here. Price retraces into here and we target the big daily fair value gap, giving us a very, very clean zero drawdown trade. The next concept is called the power of three. This concept has three sessions. The first session is known as the accumulation slash consolidation phase. This is when price isn't really trending. It's just like consolidating then in the second session you want to see something that looks like a liquidity sweep which is known as manipulation so you want to see price take out a level of sell side liquidity or a high time frame fair value gap as well as manipulation could also be from the re most recent load of accumulation then in distribution you expect price to distribute in the opposite direction that are manipulated looking to target the buy side liquidity highs of accumulation possibly targeting high time frame fair value gaps or higher draws of buy side liquidity so that's how you use the power of three setup now let's look at it with examples in the charts in the chart in the chart this was the first range so you can actually use this for forex sessions like asian london new york so yeah this range was asian session as you can see it wasn't really trending it was just accumulating slash consolidating inside of this range and then London opened and as you can clearly see we took out the lows of the Asian session and then price distributed to the upside at the same time price manipulated the, the highs now of Asian session as well as tapping into those confluences that we talked about that level of buy side liquidity and that big four hour fair value gap so if you mix these concepts of smart money concepts can actually lead to really nice high probability trades so after we manipulated the lows and then the highs New York opened and then it distributed heavily to the downside so yeah that was the power of three setup let's go into our final setup now which is similar to the power of three so now let's move on to quarterly theory so we just looked at power of three accumulation manipulation distribution quarterly theory is similar except it has one more session after the distribution which is known as x now it's called x because it can do one of two things it can either continue extending or it can reverse now let's look at some real-time examples on the charts all right bonus each session lasts for 90 minutes so accumulation lasts for 90 minutes manipulation lasts for 90 minutes etc and you you can start drawing your sessions at the start of London Open New Zealand time. So if we were to plot out quarterly theory for this trade, sorry I'm using this trade a lot because it's just like all of these confluences lined up which is, which made a really high probability trade, but let's just plot out our sessions for quarterly theory. So we can clearly see from 7.30 till 9, we, we are distributing and then from 9 o'clock till 10.30, the trend reverses. Then after the trend reverses, the cycle starts again and we can see that we're accumulating right here. Then we can see price manipulate the accumulation highs as well as tap into a five minute fair value gap right here. Then we get distribution and then we continue distributing to the downside. This, remember, this trade lines up with power of three, accumulation, manipulation of the high, distribution to the downside, as well as our silver bullet trade, which takes out this level of buy side liquidity, taps into a four hour fair value gap, internally sweeps, breaks past this low, has a five minute fair value gap, has a five minute breaker block right here, lining up with quarterly theory as well to give us a super high probability trade. If you guys like this video or learned something new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and puts this video out to more people. And if you guys got any comments, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
Yo, what's up to all the new guys who are watching this? My name is Juso. I always post my trades, no matter if it's a win or a loss, and I do my recaps. To all the regulars, if you are wondering what's the what's the random occasion with this different type of video, it's uh, somewhat of an educational video. Well, um, actually, I was uh, recording my uh, video, had over four hours of footage, and I accidentally deleted it, and this whole fucking video was lost, which took ages to edit. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm probably going to be making a second channel, to posting my trade recaps on there and i'm going to be using the main one just for more retention based videos so yeah if you guys do want to look at my trade recaps because i do always post them regardless if i win or lose make sure to check out my new channel that base